Hi there. My name is David Dennison, and I'm the author of Dennison Algebra Courses. I just wanted to take you on a quick tour of a Dennison Algebra course. I'll be using Algebra 1 for this particular video, but all the courses are formatted and designed the same way. The design is simple. Daily teaching videos with physical books to write in. Now, when you order a Dennison Algebra course, you'll receive three physical books in the mail. Every detail of a Dennison Algebra course is very intentional to help students learn a challenging subject. So, let's start with the student textbook. The student textbook is bound and consumable, so nothing gets lost. Students don't have to worry about keeping up with their work, and students have everything together so they can easily flip back and look at previous work if they need to. It's consumable, so students don't have to copy problems onto separate sheets of paper and keep up with loose paper and so forth. The notes are two pages, one on the left and one on the right. I want students to be able to see the whole lesson at once. The assignment is also two pages, one on the left and one on the right. I want to be very consistent throughout the whole book to help reduce cognitive drain on students so they can focus on learning the math. Now, the course is primarily mastery, meaning what we learn in the lesson is what we practice in the homework. However, review is a huge part of the course. I do not expect students to magically remember previous lessons and concepts, so I built in quite a bit of review. For starters, I'm always flipping back to previous material with the student, hoping they'll get in the habit of doing that themselves, and also most homework assignments have intentional review problems. By intentional, I mean that the review is not just randomly thrown in there for the sake of review. If we're approaching a lesson that uses a previously learned concept, then we begin to review that concept days ahead of time. At the end of each chapter is a review lesson where I go over every concept that we've learned in the chapter and the assignment for that day is a practice test so students can see how well they're prepared for the chapter test. Also, there are summary sheets or cheat sheets, if you will, for each chapter located in the front of the book that students can use on homework, tests, use for review, and so forth. So I am a huge believer in intentional and effective review. Now, one additional thing that you will find throughout the course is that I not only teach math, but I also directly teach learning strategies. I call it the Denison method, but it's really just common sense learning techniques and strategies that make learning math so much easier. So I directly teach it. Throughout the course, there are these little icons up in the corner of the notes, okay? And they correlate to a learning strategy from the Denison method. And I emphasize them in almost every lesson, hoping they will become habit for the student. The solutions manual shows every single problem worked out in detail. Okay, showing every single step. And it is intentionally handwritten so students can see the exact methods used to solve the problems, as well as all the scrap work and so forth. I insist that students copy my methods exactly at this level of learning, and they must show all of their work. So I want students to see me showing all of my work, as well as them being able to see every step so they can find any mistakes if they need to in their own work. Now, this manual just has the homework solutions, not the test solutions. The test solutions are in the parent guide. So let's take a look at that. The parent guide is not bound. It is three hole punch so you can hand the chapter test to your student and so forth. The parent guide contains the chapter tests, test solutions, as well as a pacing guide, grading suggestions, a quick start guide, and a couple of my favorite recipes, such as overnight oatmeal and pumpkin bars. Okay, actually, I'm kidding. There are no recipes in here. Although, in hindsight, I really should have included a couple. Anyway, there are two forms to each test, Form A and Form B. Okay, the tests are formatted the same. They just have different numbers. So, if a student does not perform well on Form A, then they can restudy, go over things that they missed, and retake the test using Form B. B.
Okay, let's take a look at the teaching videos. Your student will have a username and password they'll use to log into their account on our website. And once logged in, student clicks right over here to access their courses. And they'll see their course showing up right here. So they can click on that. And then you just click on whatever chapter and whatever lesson you happen to be doing that day. So let's say it's lesson 3-6 and you are up and running. Now I've got the sound turned off here for the sake of this video, but you can look on our website and see sample videos and watch them in their entirety. The teaching videos are about 15 to 20 minutes in length in our standard level courses and they go right along with the textbook. What you see on the screen is what you see in the student textbook. So again, you can check out sample videos and see see what those sound like in, in their entirety. Now my face does show up in various ways on the screen in the different courses according to how my technology evolved. In some courses my face shows up full screen here and there throughout the lesson and some courses my face shows up in the bottom corner here kind of like a little mini Mr. Dennison. Uh, the standard Algebra 1 course is the only course where my face doesn't show up but it's got some extra little elements in the videos that make up for it. Now the last thing that I want to show you is probably the most helpful tool of all, in my opinion, and that is the solutions video. So let's say we were just looking at lesson 3-6. You have access to hundreds of hours of videos showing me working and explaining every single homework problem in the entire course. So here are the solutions videos for the assignment that goes with the notes we were just watching. And you can see me explain it. I work every single problem in the whole course. So if a student still has a question about a problem after looking at it in the solutions manual, then then go to the solutions video and see the problem explained. It's kind of like having a personal tutor at your disposal. Okay, that's it for the video portion. Okay. Let's finish up by taking a quick look at what a typical day looks like for a student using a Denison Algebra course. First of all, there's no setup when you first purchase the course. You just hand the student their textbook, click play on video 1-1, that's it, they are up and running. So each day a student does three things. First, they watch the teaching video for whatever lesson they're on, following along and taking notes right here in the book. Second, they turn the page and complete the assignment right here in the book. Third, they grab the solutions manual and check their work. That's it. Of course, they can use the solutions video if they need some help as well. So a complete lesson is designed to take no more than 45 minutes total in our standard courses. So this is just a quick tour of a Denison Algebra course and what makes our courses unique. Again, every detail of a Denison Algebra course is very intentional and designed to help a student, particularly a struggling or non-mathy student, learn a challenging high school subject at home. You can find sample videos and sample notes in the courses section of our website, as well as additional information in the FAQ section. Okay, thanks for watching.